Goodness gracious me, I almost made the mistake of resting at the bonfire so I could get new Estus flasks and new spells, but then I had a, a moment of clarity where I was like, shit, if I if I go to the bonfire, all right, do I have enough of any type of spell to kill? Dude, this fucking salamander is like programmed to wait for you like a dick. Oh man, I wish this salamander would be like the other ones and sort of um like try and crawl, just spend all his time trying to crawl through a hole that he can't fit through instead of doing this shit. Oh man, this is bad. Oh, don't want to go back up that way. Shit. So now we got to think of a way This thing is just constantly going to fire at me, isn't he? I just want to get a fuck. I just want to lock on to you. Friend, I just want to lock on to you. That's all I want to do. If I had a bow and arrow, I could have killed... You can kill this one from the top with a bow and arrow. Alright, see? Ugh, that spell is so hard to dodge. All I want to do is get a lock on this guy. Ugh, oh, that's going to be death right here for sure. Alright, lock. Cool. Now, hopefully with a lock on this thing, I can... Oh, keep... Yep, cool. Well, that didn't work out quite as well as I'd wanted, but now that I've got a lock on him, I can wait till he's done with this casting cycle every time and then just hit him with one spell and just peekaboo. So I'm just actually going to cut this out really quick because this fight's going to take a while. Man, I hate it when they program an enemy so it just has like, it has no real AI. It's just programmed to do like one really annoying thing, but obviously that's Dark Souls. That's the point of the freaking game is to sometimes have enemies that are just going to do one really annoying thing over and over again. Did this dude see me? Oh yeah, he saw me. And now he's just gonna pull the same bullshit as his, as his friend, probably. Oh, come on, seriously? Uh, well, let's get a lock on this guy really quick, and then we're gonna have to do the same thing, and I'll probably cut it out again, because as you can imagine, it's just gonna be the same deal. I'm just gonna be running for cover over and over again. Oh, crap. Took one hit, yep, and now it's just gonna be take a pot shot, run for cover. All right, I'll see you in a minute. You know what's actually nice about this one is the spot that I'm using for cover, he can't hit me. Oh, he did He did that time. The one time I thought that I had like a science to it and I was gonna show it off. Oh, what the fuck just happened? All the flame jets, I don't wanna fall down there obviously, that's gonna be guaranteed death, but I guess these salamanders were powering the flame jets or something? I don't know. The mysteries will probably never be solved. I'm actually really terrified that like some salamander is gonna be, I don't know, just hiding somewhere and it's just gonna like pop out and kick my ass in some super unpleasant way. Well, obviously, it'll be unpleasant because it'll be a fire and burning to death would be pretty unpleasant. Whenever I think about probable and possible deaths, burning to death is not high on the list of things that I would like. Oh my gosh, so much shit down here. I'm super terrified that, like, I'm almost wondering if there's something that you can get by going down there, but then the smarter part of my brain is like, do not jump down there. If there's something there, I'm sure somebody will mention it in the comments. I'm not willing to take that risk right now. So I guess now it's back on to the main course of the game now that I'm done messing around in here. So I was informed by somebody in the comments that there is a hidden wall that I done did miss while I was here in Belfry Luna. Oh shit! How is it that that mist is back? That mist wasn't there before, was it? That's fucked up! I didn't think that mist... For some reason, that mist was gone before, and now it's suddenly back! Well, who cares? I made it through. So yeah, somebody informed me that there was a hidden wall here, and holy shit! That mist stops those guys? Well, that's great! Now I can find where this hidden wall is, and I can see what's in this chest. But yeah, so basically... Now it's gone? Dude, I think something's... <gasps> Immolation! Why didn't I pick up that before? That's a flame spell! Oh my gosh! That's amazing. This guy's still shooting at me. I gotta get out of here. But yeah, somebody told me there was a hidden wall around here somewhere. And I'm not sure where it is. Possibly here. Nope. I don't know. Oh, it's right here! <laughs> it's so if you come over this way... You know what's funny is they said it was over by the chest, but I didn't know which chest they were talking about. Thank you, person in the comments. I think their name was Bjorn Jensen is their screen name. If I said that wrong or forgot your name, I'm sorry, but thank you so much. I'm very excited to see what rewards I got, and I'm glad I came back here because I got to get grab that Immolation. A Black Knight Greatsword, if I were... Yeah, that's a pretty good reward. But yeah, I got Immolation, which makes me really happy. I was probably never going to revisit this area, 
So it's pretty cool that I came back here. And it's also, if I ever decide to use faith, a nice item for faith using, and yep, and then it just drops right back down here. All right, cool. But now I'm going to head off and check out stuff elsewhere in the great wide world. So here's something new that I learned. I didn't realize that some spells take up two attunement slots, and pyromancy, immolation, is one of those. But, so now that I'm finally back at the Shaded Woods, I figured there's no better place for me to test out my, um, in enjoyable and lovely flame spells that I've yet to mess around with, than to come back to the Shaded Woods and have a good time. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that if you come out this door, that frog, if... That frog from the trap is still waiting there, so let's just ignore him, pretend like... Oh no. You have to hit that. Oh, well, whatever, I already know the combustion will one-shot this fucker. I was like, you ha You actually have to hit that to go through the door. Why is that like that? That's so weird that you have to do that. Will that open that door up there, I guess, then? Hopefully it will. Oh, and it'll unleash this room of dudes. What the fuck? I don't get what's going on here. I'm seriously confused. Is this like... Just the worst bonfire ever? Like, seriously. Oh, why did that one not one-shot him? Whatever, fuck this guy. Alright, let's pull out my mace. Kill this last dude with just some good old-fashioned hand weapons. Yeah! There we go. I guess it opens up all the cells and then opens up the door because it's all part of the trap. That's kind of lame that I guess I'll have to find another bonfire this episode if I'm ever going to be happy here. Alright, back to my flame spells. We're gonna try Immolation next. I'm not 100% sure what this is gonna do. I guess I could read the spell description, but... Isn't it just more fun to try things out for yourself? Let's see what Immolation does. It better do something awesome, because it takes up two slots. A pyromancy that creates a coating of flame, allowing the caster to incinerate nearby foes. Okay. So basically... It, uh... We'll find out what it does here in a second, I guess. This is gonna be pretty interesting. I'm super excited to see what in all high holy hell this thing's gonna do to my opponents. All right, this guy, oh crap, wrong button. I don't know why I used that button. All right, here we go. Time to see how my coating of flame works out. Oh, it's my coating of flame is lame. For some reason, I figured that would do way more damage than that. Like in my head, I was like, okay, it's gonna immolate the enemy and I don't know, I thought the damage would go way faster. I mean, I doubt these guys have, like, in insane flame resist, so... I just under- I overestimated the sweetness of that ability. Now I feel like a lame-o for thinking it was gonna be so damn awesome. I was like, dude, this is gonna be the coolest move ever! And now it turns out- but you know what, I think Immolation... Like, the way I see it, it looks like it'll be nice for certain bosses, but just for how things are going right now, I'll just have to leave it in the bank. Takes up two attunement slots, so I went back after I died and I attuned a couple new things just because I decided that a couple new things would be way better than this. Let's pop out some actual spells now that I'm against this poison foe. Although I need to make sure... Alright, let's check out... Time to test out the new spells. Fireball. Ugh! Oh, it doesn't even one-shot these guys. Flame, and I've leveled up my Pyromancy Flame pretty fucking heavily. Alright, now Combustion though... I think Combustion one-shots these guys, but you have to be in melee range, which is pretty cool actually though. I like Combustion a lot just because it's got, um, a little AoE thing going on where, like, it doesn't rock their world horribly, but what it does do is if I've got a bunch of enemies on me, it'll kill like multiples at once, which is pretty neat. Now, let's pop out, testing all my spells, except for no more testing. Time to just pop out a great soul arrow and kill this guy who thinks he can beat me with rocks. I've got magic spells. Okay, actually, that's good to know. So my great soul arrow doesn't actually do much more damage than the fireball, which means these guys are actually probably a little bit weak to fireballs. So at least I can take a small amount of solace knowing that the fireballs aren't weak. I'm just not a master of the... Sweet, sweet flame abilities yet. Oh, cool. Pharos... Pharos Lockstone. Dude, you know the thing about Pharos Lockstones? Is I found... Next, we're gonna test out something that I've only got four casts of, so it better be damn good. Fire Orb. So who wants to... Whoever fucks with me next, I would like to preemptively apologize, because you're gonna get your ass rocked by Fire Orb if you stop running at me. Oh! Oh, that was actually really cool, because... 
if you have a bunch of enemies that are at a distance, that's actually a pretty damn good spell. I'll have to keep that in mind, that if you have a bunch of enemies at range, Fire Orb will pretty much rock their world. Alright, dude, that, that's turning out, and what the fuck is up with these guys? I mean, I don't, I gotta give them credit for at least trying, you know, with the rock throwing, but... Seriously, dudes, did you not just see your friend get swallowed in flames by... Merely by touching me? Like, you gotta be a little bit more afraid of the guy who can make your friends get swallowed in flames of destruction. You gotta sit there and think to yourself, is this really the guy that I want to throw rocks at? Oh, this guy's just got... I like how there's a bunch of variations. I didn't even notice that these guys have, like, huge penises. Or they're just, like... They're just really unfortunately placed poison sacks. But, like I was saying, I like that there's a bunch of different variations of these enemies. I find it... It's, like, more believable when enemies have, like, a shit ton... Okay. We have a room. I hear dudes. But who cares? We have a bonfire. Who gives a fuck? Because there is bonfire here. For me to light... Enjoy the sweet warmth of and now I don't have to deal with that crappy bonfire back at the base time to check out What all the doors in this zone have to offer well? Honestly, oh hey Should I save this dude? <laughs> oh No, he's not stone Wait, oh, it's this is the guy that um is out to get paid. I know who this this yeah, he's totally the dude Yeah or this is Pate. No, I don't think this is Pate. Good. So by the way, I found out... I looked up the stuff with Pate because in the previous Dark Souls game, there's some guys that... Like, crazy guys like this, that if you send them back to your camp, they'll fuck up your whole camp. Like, there's one guy that'll come and he'll kill your firekeeper. He'll kill everybody in your camp. And so I was like, I do not want that guy... I don't want a person like that coming back to my camp. So I went and looked it up, and it turns out that eventually... You can get those two to fight each other. Like, if you keep on stringing them along through the zones, eventually they'll, like, be pissed at each other, and they'll meet up and try and battle. And it's your place to kind of choose who you want to side with in the fight. But whoever you side with, you lose, like, the opportunity to get what the other one wants. And what's really interesting is they both have... Okay, we gotta grab the item. Oh. You know what's really funny about that? The reason there's got to be something important about this tree, visions of giant. Maybe oh maybe okay whatever. You know the reason I went to the other side and jumped down from the top like that? I totally thought that water was going to be poison. I mean, just look at this forest. Does this t does this not strike you as like a poisony type of forest zone where enemies will be all made of all the poisons and shit? All right. Oh okay. Well. Produce the symbol of the king? I can't do that. So I can't go that way, and to be honest, I already know I can't go that way because I know what is in that direction. It's Dranglet Castle, and to get to Dranglet Castle, you have to have defeated all the major enemies, but now, I'm curious if bringing a torch in here will make it easier to see. It doesn't appear to really help, so I guess all I'd rather, if I had to choose, if it's not really going to help anyway, I'd much rather have my shield out. So what's interesting about this zone, I've re-equipped Immolation because I know for a fact that there's something very interesting about this zone, and that is... Here, I hear one. I hear one. I think that there's invisible enemies in this zone. What does this say? Stay calm. Oh, that means I'm gonna get... Oh. Oh! There's a ghost here to be talked to, I think. Come back, ghost. Leave I see you. Be. No, I'm not gonna leave you be. I want to talk to you, you crazy ghost. Oh my gosh, okay, you can buy stuff from this guy, which is kind of weird because he is just a head stuck in some rocks. Oh, he sells some sweet arrows, gold pine resin. He sells some nice stuff, but nothing that I can use. Alright, cool. So yeah, that was really interesting that this guy actually lie. does stuff. Sometimes Obviously, I don't think that he'll ever go back to the kingdom I was born. because... He... or he won't ever come back to Majula because he doesn't have a body to take him back, but... Hey, cool, if you keep on using all of his conversation stuff, he'll eventually give you a helmet. Alright, so you know what's interesting about that guy, though? Is he warned you. Um, he... during the conversation, he warns you that... He was killed here, but... He's seen his head... His, like... He says that he's seen his, like... 
headless body wandering around killing people. So that's probably a little bit of a warning of things to come in this zone. You're probably... Maybe the end boss will be that guy's body, or maybe his body will be somewhere in this terrifying wooded area that seems to have no visible end. This is actually kind of a horrible area. Like, it really scares me just because you can't see shit. Oh, here we go. Now I'm getting to somewhere where either I can see shit or I will be able to... Ah. It's good to not be able to fucking... It's good to not be terrified anymore of some guy's headless body coming and attacking you. Is your headless body out here? Nope, but a bonfire is. Well, shit, if there's a bonfire here... I think I should go explore that wooded area a little bit more and possibly try and get a few items out of there because I saw, like, across the woods, I saw some items. Now, what's interesting right now, though, is I have equipped a certain thing. So, there are enemies in those woods, I know from the internet, but they're invisible enemies and you can't lock on to them. And I'm sure there's some way- oh crap. I'm sure there's probably some item or something that allows you- oh, that face is terrifying. Oh my gosh, that face is terrifying. So yeah, I'm sure there's like some way to see the enemies out here, but... I have a different plan that I have thought up. And that is, if something starts attacking me, I'm gonna use immolation and since, like, you know, I was trying to think, I was like, what use could immolation possibly- oh, am I stuck? Oh, please don't be stuck, there we go. I was like, what use could Immolation possibly have? And then I was like, there, here we go. Time to pop on Immolation. And so now, if any dude tries to fuck with me, they will take damage. So, I don't know, like, it may not be the best strategy in the world. By the way, Immolation damages me! Oh, <gasps> they didn't tell me that wasn't in the brochure? <laughs> what the fuck? So basically, I should probably be using Flame Sweat with Immolation. Holy shit! I did not know that immolation damages me. That is... I mean, it makes sense. I'm on fire. Although, it, and it hardly hurts these guys. Shit. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best plan in the world. I thought that that was a fantastic plan. At least now, this dude has a health... Oh, he's right next to me. <laughs> I was like, what is in my way? And then I realized it is an invisible enemy just standing in my way. Well, luckily, at least its health bar gave it away. Man, that immolation plan was not as... Okay, that'll kill me. That immolation plan was not as good as I thought it was. Although, I thought I personally thought in my head that seemed like a pretty fantastic plan. Alright, anybody gonna fuck with me? Oh, shit! Oh, I'm opening the chest now, I'm in the animation. I can- you can see the guy! You can barely see him, but he's right there. Oh, is he still there? Where did you go? Where did you go, invisible and I see you! Oh, he blocked me with a shield? This has got to be so weird if you've not been to this area and you're watching this, like... Like, if you're just a viewer, you're like, Ragdar, you're crazy. Is that the guy? Nope, that's just another ghost. Damn it. Oh, here he is! I see you! Crap! Oh, I got him! Yes! You're so fucked now, buddy. I don't know if you can see this on the recording. I hope my video comes through well enough that you can actually see... You can barely see the shadow of guys. So I've taken just one final trip into this god's damn zone. And I'm hoping that I can just run around, maybe pick up any items that are lying around. I don't even want to try and fight dudes. Oh, unless they're right there! Shit! Oh, please! Why does this have to be happening? Why did they have to just make a zone of invisible enemies? I am sure, knowing like the Dark Souls way of doing things, there's got to be some item that you use that just allows you to see guys, but... I don't happen to know what that item is, so I'm just gonna, like I said, go about my merry way. Alright, this has got to be the entrance again. Possibly. <laughs> and then if this is the entrance... Alright, cool. So I know I've made a full circle. So now, I can see one item off there in front of me, I think. Or I'm just gonna get lost. Oh, there's a dude. <gasps> there's a thing. Alright, item, item. Soul of an aimless soldier. More souls. This is going great, except for the fact that now I've got like an archer on me. Oh my gosh, perfect! Items! I just want all the items, that's all I really want. <laughs> this is terrifying though. Like, all I want is items, but all I'm getting is being scared and having dudes on my ass who I just can't see the fucking... at all. Okay, okay, maybe it's time to retreat. Oh gosh, but now, see, the problem with retreating is which direction... Okay, cool, I'm against a wall again, <laughs> fuck. 
So now that I'm against a wall, that means I can just follow the wall up to retreat, and I'm good to go, and we'll never come back here again unless... I don't know. Unless I feel... I'll look it up on the internet and see if there's any reason to ever come into this terrifying and horrible place again. But for now, I am done with this place, and I'm going to go into the cool comfort of a gentle and warm bonfire. Which, going into the cool comfort of a gentle and warm bonfire, also strikes me as a fantastic place to end this episode right here. So in the next episode, I will be going about my business, going to the many places beyond in Dark Souls. This has been Ragtar. Thank you for watching.